Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today, we are talking more about the behind the scenes of Block Horse. And before I get into today's topic, if any of the staff are watching, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. I, I made sure to only pick the ones that are actually never going to happen. Uh, talking about scrapped game ideas. Uh, the ones that, I mean, most of them won't happen, but the ones that are maybe possible still are not going to be included here. So all the ones that we're never going to use anyways, uh, those are the only ones you'll see. Today we're going to be talking about scrapped Block Wars game ideas. You know, I think it's fun to talk about something like this as it'll give a bit of insight um, on how we run Block Wars. Here's the Fire Breathman Block Wars page because he's played every single game before, uh, at least in the content creator side of Block Wars. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I've been talking about like the behind the scenes of uh, player management for Block Wars 1, 2, and 3 already. Uh, I'll probably talk a bit more about that uh, in the following days of, as well. Kind of just stalling until MCC, uh, you know, comes back, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> so I can talk about MCC a little bit. But uh, I also love talking about this because obviously I, I love working on Block Wars. It's really fun. Either way, um, Blockers had a lot of games, and Blockers has had a lot of ideas uh, being thrown around. You know, over over the past two years, it's been now at least um, a lot of ideas uh, that uh, uh, didn't uh, didn't see the light of day and never will see the light of day because, uh, funnily enough, some ideas are not good. And I, I shall showcase four ideas today. Four, okay, four ideas, and I'll explain a little bit as to why they won't happen. Before I get into this, I want to just finish this whole tab. If you see that this is the little more insight, uh, this is my stats page. Nothing super leaky here. Um, I noticed there's some uh, some some silly individuals who keep disliking the videos. Just wanted to, it, just in case those people are still watching. Just wanted to let you know, by the way, dislikes literally don't do anything on YouTube. So if you are just here to kind of dislike a video, uh, you're wasting your time because it doesn't matter and you can't even see it on YouTube. So I don't know what you're doing, but uh, have fun with that, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into some ideas. First off, the first idea uh, or first scrapped game idea that I saw is this. Uh, also, this is my Block Wars uh, tab. If you ever see like green like this, um, yeah, the, the Block Wars tab. Um, <laughs> there you go. It's a blockers tab. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, bingo battle. I don't even remember who made this idea, but the idea was simple. People in Origins, at least, had requested a bingo type game for a little bit. And we were like, this is a very old document, by the way. Um, that's, uh, bingo is another thing to talk about separately for uh, another day. But, um, you know, we, we try to come up with original ways to approach bingo. And this is one of them. To read it out, I don't know if it is readable for you, uh, for you uh, people out there. I mean, I can just kind of make it a little bit larger. There you go. Um, it's a miscellaneous PvP game. This is, by the way, when new ideas are made, sometimes it's just this simple. You'll see another document made that uh, you'll see. <laughs> sometimes ideas are very simple. Okay. Um, five minutes doing surface bingo items. So I, I think that's just like you just play bingo for five minutes then you get uh, you get points and tokens from this and then you get teleported to a market where you spend tokens to get armor and weapons so already confusing right you play bingo for five minutes then it suddenly is over which is super quick five minutes goes by like nothing then you get teleported to a different location where there's a shop now you have to figure out this entire shop system confusing uh, and then afterwards you get put in a coliseum to fight with everyone So then if you suck at bingo, you're gonna get less points and then you're also gonna get absolutely dookied on in the coliseum Because obviously a Feinberg is gonna get like 10 bingo items and you're gonna get like four and he's gonna get like full iron armor And you're gonna have like leather armor and a stone sword and it's you're just you're just done for like obviously not a good idea so um, why is this not happening it's too confusing, first of all. It uh, combines bingo uh, and, and PvP, but like it adds a shop system. If we want to go for like a more like you know approachable uh, event, then something like this is a little confusing. Uh, also, the purpose of a game like bingo being in the roster would be to have that miscellaneous or survival-esque game, right? And you wouldn't want it to mix with PvP because at the time, this is when Extraction was probably not crossbows yet, I think. Um, there was Battle, obviously, and Sky Zone was a thing. So adding another PvP game would have been a really bad idea. So that's why Bingo Battle is never happening, or whatever the name was. Um, that is never happening. Next up, um, I'll, I'll, I'll grab this one. Um, Skybolt Rework. Do I remember who made this? No. 
Um, but this is also never happening. Essentially, um, if, if I, I read this out, uh, this is Photon's original d uh, design document. Um, Photon is the name uh, for the Skyworld rework. It's in Party. Uh, so th this, is, this is a Party game, not like a full game. Um, link three minutes, it's normal, and rounds one, that's normal. Skybolt with hit scan photon cannon. By the way, hit scan, if you don't know what hit scan is and you've played a lot of Minecraft. Uh, if you've ever played Quake in Minecraft, I think Quake, uh, Quake is the actual game as well. Um, it's like the one where if you aim somewhere and you press right click, it immediately fires an entire thing. It's not like, there's no like arrow delay from like traveling, like with gravity or whatever the frick, right? Like it's just boom, immediate, immediately, whatever you're looking at is just a, a flash of particles that's hit scan. Uh, maybe does more damage from more distance. Why would damage even be a thing? I, I guess. Uh, how does that work? Isn't uh, Skybolt one shots if you hit someone? So how would it do? How would damage even work? Uh, photons also one shot upon hit. So how would more damage from more distance literally makes zero sense? Uh, Skybolt esque map, but more refined. TM. Okay, I have. A, a, a suspicion that this might have been Dynamite Donut, because this is something that Donut types. Uh, infinite lives, kill streak, point rewards. I mean, this is. I mean, part of this is still, you know, what happened uh, to become Photon eventually. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> not a not a very cohesive idea. Why is this not gonna happen? Because Photon already exists. Essentially. This is just Photon, but if you had an Elytra, which just makes it really inconvenient. So we are never doing this, okay? Just so, so, so you know. Skybolt rework, I, I'm going to just throw it out there. Not on our minds. Is it going to happen? P probably not. Maybe if we come up with a really good idea at some point. Because an Elytra game can be really fun. And uh, I do agree that Black Horse is kind of missing an Elytra game. But um, I will also admit that uh, I... Unironically, uh, accidentally came up with Rocket Spleef, and then once I finished the concept, I don't actually have a document for it because it was not written on a document. I concepted like, oh, maybe we could do like an electric game where you like shoot like bombs and it, you like break blocks and, and like the map slowly deteriorates. I'm like, yeah, that could be pretty cool. Oh wait, MCC already has that, so. You know, uh, we'll see. Maybe there will be an Elytra game at some point. And if there is one, it'll probably be in party. Um, but who knows? Anyways, that's uh, half of it done already. Then uh, I want to get... Okay, I'll do this one. This is a very recent one. Um, as you can see, <laughs> see from this document, it is empty. Um, because this is just a very quick idea. Uh, this is also meant to be for party. Uh, random item pillar game from Cheap Pickle. Now, this was before Cheap Pickle actually joined the roster. Obviously, I was aware of who Cheap Pickle was, and I'm the person who made this document. Because um, Cubecraft, if you don't know, already has it on their server. And um, I was like, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe it could be fun to uh, to put this in Block Wars Party. I think this is a silly game. It's a fun game. Uh, worth looking into. Very quickly, upon thinking about it more, I realized, hmm, maybe with 40 players, this would kind of suck. We didn't even test it, never built anything. As you can see, this document stayed empty because that was just the conclusion. Why is this never happening? Because this game concept would absolutely suck with 40 players. It works with eight players, similar to, and for those of you who remember, Rod Game from Black Wars Party, like Black Wars 11 or Origins 11, sorry. Um, there was a game called Rod Game. Rod Game originated from me and Dynamite Donut on like a little build server, just kind of goofing around. And we came up with Rod Game essentially, just fishing rods, jump boost, and like a little map. And it was really fun. Like we had a, a blast doing it. But with 40 players, uh, uh yeah, not, no, <laughs> not good. Pretty bad. So is this game happening? No. And finally, one that I think is actually the most cohesive because it has the most text is this one. Um, this is a concept that is also confirmed and not happening. Oh, that is not what I meant to click. Where did it go? There we go. Um, this is a design document for a splat rework. And yes, that is true. At some point we planned or at least concepted a, a plan to um, rework Splat from Party into a full game. And I know some people from the player base already said that it should be a full game. I know some people from the audience probably think that it should be a full game. I'm sure some people would absolutely hate us for making it a full game. So you're probably happy to hear that this is never happening. Either way, um, 
yeah, uh, <laughs> this was made by me, by the way. Um, so, uh, the problem here that we said is like something we can try out, but likely wouldn't work as a full game. This was after concepting the idea. Um, also takes Splite away from party, which uh, in turn would make party less enjoyable. Keep in mind, at the time, part, uh, Splat was seen as at least the best or second best game, or like a top tier game in party, the competition. I don't even know if Photon was a thing at this time. I don't think it was. So the competition was Beep Test. So if you like Beep Test, you'll probably think Splat's like the second best. Otherwise, a lot of people thought it was the best because it was like the most um, fleshed out and you know, most unique game uh, in terms of Minecraft uh, in uh, party. Anyways. Uh, the idea is, uh, I called it Splatter as like a placeholder name, I guess, it, uh, like a, whatever, right? Doesn't actually matter. Um, the idea was it would be three rounds of splats. One of them would be normal splats. One of them would be claim, which ended up being splat zone. And another one was, was called defeat. This is just kind of a team deathmatch, but with splats p rifles. But like different rifles, I don't really know how that would even work. I called it basically around a meltdown, so I guess that dates it a little bit too. Meltdown already existed at the time that um, this was concepted, because this is referring to MCC. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't even think we're ever going to consider that for for party, so because uh, it would be a mess. Uh, because how do you even do that? I, I don't know. Like, uh, I feel like the splat combat system is a little bit too jank, unless we fix it, but uh, a little bit too jank to make it like a proper combat like game. Um, who knows? Anyways, um, every round would have a different type of map. Uh, splat keeps the same uh, map from party splat. Claim gets a new, more open map with five capture points, four on each of the corners of the map, and one bigger capture point in the middle of the map. We didn't really end up doing this for Splat Zone because I think uh, by the time that we decided to just do Splat Zone or try it out at least, we had a separate document so we didn't even look at this anymore. And then Defeat would get an enclosed map with a border or something like a border that moves towards the center of the map. Essentially, you know, like an SG type of uh, game or like Sky, Sky Battle, Sky Wars, whatever, right? Where it's just a, a big map that closes in. Uh, Meltdown style, like said here, you know. Could be fun, but I don't know. I feel like Splat wouldn't be the one to pick. I feel like, you know, just a, a new like type of game mode would be more fun for something like that if you were to expo uh, explore that. How the game changes, or how the, how the games change, the original Splat wouldn't change. Clem gets abilities that players can choose at the start of the round. Confusing, these abilities range from a temporary speed boost to jump boost or a levitation spark to anything that could be interesting and useful. Confusing. So this also showcases that I think MCCI was a thing at this point, so I don't even know when this was made, but, um, yeah, <laughs> nice one. So you do splats, but you can pick abilities, and the abilities you have to choose, and, but then there's things that you might not understand, so whatever. Um, defeat is inspired by the PvP from Meltdown from MCC. To eliminate another team, you must paint all live opposing team members. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Players are given soap bombs to wash off the paint from their teammates on cooldown. If uh, if there's some OG Mindplex players on here, you will know immediately that I got this idea from Super Paintball. <laughs> because in Super Paintball, um, in on Mindplex, they had a thing where you could like clean your teammates and revive them that way. Uh, which I thought was really interesting. Um, maybe we'll explore that at some point, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can wash off the paint uh, to like... Uh, heal them, I guess, or if they're like fully like paint, whatever. I don't even know how that would work. Defeat also gains a new blasters like a shotgun, <laughs> shoots multiple bullets at short range. Wow, I, I think we kind of tried that one and it didn't really work out super well. And a sniper shoots one bullet that does three times as much damage as a normal bullet, covers long range. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I feel like that would be really lame to play against. It's like, for those of you who play Overwatch, it's like playing against a Widowmaker. Imagine if there's, like, a Minecraft Widowmaker who's actually good at the game. Like a Feinberg uh, with a sniper just in the background. That would suck. Um, so yeah. Both of these new weapons shoot as, at a much slower rate, but it can be very beneficial in specific situations. I'm sure. Players will have to select their weapon of choice at the start of the round add another layer of choice to something that they're already not going to be familiar with. Not a great idea. There's no limit to how many of each weapon your team can select. I mean, that would have been a good idea if you if this were to happen. Is it going to happen? No. Why is a splat rework not going to happen? Two reasons. Um, splat, I think, now that we've tried out Splat Zone, has proven to not be worth 
um, making a full game out of now. Uh, early on, it would have been cool because people were super hyped about it. But I think uh, the interest in Splat has, uh, has like fallen off a little bit. So it, Splat will need more attention before we could even consider taking it out of party, putting something else in there. Additionally, um, that would mean that one of the party games gets uh, removed. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's not a lot of party games in rotation right now. So we'd have to come up with something to replace Splat. And, uh, you know, it, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but like, I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> I actually really like Splat and Party. I think it fits super well. So why would we even remove it from Party? Another reason is, um, uh, you know, as you can tell from other Minecraft events, typically um, new full games are only revealed at most like once every three months ish. Typically, okay. Some sometimes there's different situations where, you know, you'll see two new games. For example, Blockwars did it recently, and I think Mayhem did it recently too, where for Blockwars 10, we had Trailblazers, and uh, which was a rework. So if you want to consider that a fully new game, it's up to you. It's a rework, but it's a new game. Like, you know, it's fine. It's, it's its own thing. Uh, and Turf Wars was also uh, released in Blockwars 10. So that's two new games as the, the new content for Blockwars 10. And Mayhem, I think, did... They brought back their Elytra game, which I think only had a new map, so I don't know how much of a new game that would be. It's just more like a return from being gone. And uh, they had the building game, which I thought was really cool. Um, but technically, one and a half new games as well, so it's, you know, it happens sometimes, but usually there's like three to four months between new games, especially um, for Block Wars. We're at a point now where we don't really need to, like, throw in like three new games to fix like the the game roster because it's not really like a, a problem right now um so yeah we uh, uh, the main problem the main thing I, I wanted to bring up there is um because <laughs> i don't even think i said what i meant um splat as a full game would be a bit of a waste of a new full game slot i think i, I think the amount of effort that would go into it to make it uh, just as a game, first of all, then test it and make it better is another layer of effort that I don't think is worth putting in to splat as a full game. It, it just means we'll probably not do it. Uh, that, that's the conclusion, really. We're just not going to do it. Anyways, um, yeah, there's a lot more ideas uh, in, in the Block Wars, uh, you know, database in the vault, I guess, of uh, the Block Wars drive. Um, I don't think uh, I will be talking about them much more, maybe at the end of the year once more things are figured out. But there's a lot of ideas in the drive that I don't want to reveal just in case we might revisit, revisit it. Because it's not as if we have like an absolute crazy metric ton of like uh, ideas just laying around. Uh, but for stuff like party, there's a lot of documents where I could see, you know, if if I or someone else puts a couple hours of effort into designing it, it could be worth putting in the roster as long as it's given the proper attention. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have had fun uh, getting some insight on how the Blockwars, uh, you know, design process and scrapped games and stuff, uh, how that may look or whatnot. I will also say... Those documents that you just saw are all not properly formatted before anyone thinks we have a really unprofessional and scuffed setup on the in internal site. Okay, Joey Capallo and Jordan Crothers have have been absolute legends in making things uh, more structured internally, including documents, which I think was Joey, mostly. Um, so documents, we have a format, a template, and it's a lot cleaner, okay? So just in case you saw that and you were like, oh. Why is it? Why, is, why does it just look so bad? It doesn't look like that usually. Okay, a, a full game, a full proper designed game has its own template. It looks nice and formatted and uh, whatever. Anyways, enough rambling and yapping. I, I talked 19 minutes about games that don't even exist. I don't even know how I pull this off anymore. Um, for those of you who are still around, I'll try to be live today. Okay, I'll try to be live today at the time of this video going up. Uh, it'll just be another chill late night little vibe stream. So I don't know if I'll go for four hours again, but we'll see I, I guess <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye